You know, like any red-blooded American looking to mentally sedate himself after a long day of sitting in a mid-range office chair, I like to watch a fair amount of TV. But then one night I thought to myself, You know, I won't apologize for that. I have several income streams I use to support my family, which means I work long hours, some in an office chair, some not. So, where the hell was I going with this? Oh, I thought to myself, as long as I'm watching so much TV, maybe I should learn to actually use my TV system a little better instead of just mashing buttons like a Neanderthal. So if you've got Comcast X1 service like I do, this one's for you. It looks like this with a remote like this. Your remote may look different, but if your interface looks like this, these tips will apply to you. Let's start with an easy one. When you're looking for a show to watch, do you hit the guide button? Now the picture's blocked, Einstein. Instead, you hit the right arrow button for a handy slide-out guide. You can find the show you want that way while you're watching your current show, or just hit the left arrow button to slide the side guide back in. Doug, I hear you asking, what the crap are these colored buttons for? I don't know, have you ever just tried I don't know, pressing them just to see what happens? No? Foiler alert, the yellow A button displays the help menu. The blue B button shows a video window while you're inside menus. Aha! So you actually can see the picture while you're in the guide. The red C button opens up the sports app. You're a TechCrunch reader, so you won't be needing that at all. And the green D button lets you quickly delete recordings from your list. Foiler alert. That's what you say when you're about to foil someone's ignorance. Like, foiler alert, you're about to get smarter. Spoiler alert? a spoiler on like a Honda? Like a, I, I, don't, I don't follow. If you've got a particular show or movie you want to watch, just start typing its name out on the number pad. See, see what happens? If you didn't know that trick, it's mind-blowing. If you did, you are shaking your fist at an LED screen of some sort right now. Do you have kids? This will shut them up and immobilize them for hours. You hit the big fat Xfinity button, you go to On Demand, then go into the kid zone. It's just for kids. Don't go there on your own and you pick out a show. Then instead of just playing a single episode, hit shuffle. It'll literally just keep playing show after show after show until it runs out of shows. I can drive to Vermont and back before my kid even knows I'm gone. He's two, almost three. He's fine. I leave water and corn pops. He's fine. He's fine. And speaking of your stupid kids, head into the labs menu like so. By the way, feel free to dig around in here for other cool stuff. There are plenty of little odds and ends in here. But the childproof remote feature will lock your remote so your demon spawn can't interrupt your dating naked marathon. Only you can unlock the remote by hitting the up arrow three times and spelling out lock on the remote. That's 5625. If you couldn't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be tinkering with this setting. But Doug, I hear you saying, again, I have only one TV and I want to watch TV in a room other than the room inside which is my soul TV is. Pretty sure I nailed that. What you do is take your computer, go to xtv.comcast.net, and once you're logged in, you'll notice a very familiar interface in front of you. Note that this only works while you're connected to your home broadband connection, and you would better believe it needs to be a Comcast connection. But hey, two TVs now. Or more, you can do this from your mobile devices. Search for Xfinity TV from your favorite app store to download it to your phone or tablet. And last but not least, if your cable box is acting up, there's no need to root around behind your TV to reboot it. No one wants to see you bent over a pile of cords with your ill-fitting pants. Search to your app store on your mobile device for the Xfinity My Account app, and you can use it, well, you can use it to do a lot of things, but it's best used to check for outages, and if there are no outages, to reboot your system without having to stand up. And that, my friends, is the American way.